on again on again same ride tony same ride This is your first time tuning in. Thank you very much. My name is Blaine Roberts, owner and operator of Panhandle Salt Beach Fishing. We're running beach fishing guides in Perdido Key, Pensacola, Orange Beach, and Gulf Shores, Alabama. We're also offering some tailored surf fishing lessons. So if you want to get into this thing or enhance some skills you already have, we do have a package for you. We work with a handful of supporters that offer you guys discounts. All their links and promo codes are in the description of this video. And I am out here this morning with Tony Faggioni, owner and operator of Fish Gum. Guys, we are taking advantage of the National Seashores. National Seashores lay out miles and miles of pristine beaches with no condos, hardly no people, and it's just filled with cuts and holes and rips. And big fish. And big fish. <laughs> a couple videos ago, I was actually fishing a National Seashore in Perdido Key, Johnson Beach. It had been closed for almost eight months, guys. I finally got access back to it, and I pulled out a monster. This National Seashore that we're on this morning is in the Opal Beach area, and it's the same kind of layout. No condos, no people, just so much beach structure out there. You can't run out of places to fish. We're gonna start here this morning. If we gotta bounce up and down the beach, we will, but I'm hoping for another big one. Me too, wanna see it. <laughs> we have packed up and moved. <laughs> We gave it about two hours at our original spot this morning. I would say we've moved probably five miles east. So we're getting close to like Navarre. The wind was strong, the tide was strong. It is starting to calm down a bit, so I'm hoping that helps. But I was having trouble holding four ounce spudniks. Now the wind has picked up again. Jacket on. We'll go ahead and get some cut bait out there too. I would like a red. So I think they'd be more enticed to hit that cut bait than the shrimp, but you never know. We are on. Third spot, three hours. Yo! Third spot, three hours, guys. We are on. Uh, that's a big one. Oh, Tony's on too. Get it, buddy. Oh. Oh, no. I'm just going to let him run. I'm going to let him run. Uh. Come on, baby. That's what these birds were after. Uh. All right. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Still on there. See if I can get some slack. All right. Hold on. Yeah. All right. Get some fish All right. <laughs> All right, he is still on there, guys. Oh, I'm gonna go up and over. Oh, yeah. And up and over this one. Oh, now I gotta catch back up to him. He got a good run when we were dealing with all that. Got a big sandbar in front of me. Come on. 
got 15 pound on this, I think. I was fishing for pompano with this. Fifteen pound fluorocarbon leader, two watt circle hook. Come on. We got a lot of sandbar here, guys. And I got a four ounce Sputnik on there. As you can see, we got some rough conditions. So we got a lot of elements dragging across this low bar. I gotta be careful. 15 pounds is not a lot for these big fish, guys. It can be done. You just gotta work them easy. Oh yeah, it's some it's some sort of drum. Did you put a piece of fish on? No, oh, th wow. this is uh, this is Pompano setup, wow. Fi fifteen pound. Yeah. He's not sucking to the bottom. That's good. Yeah. I got a fish on too, buddy. All right, get him, baby. All right, action. Three hours, three spots. <sighs> Come on. This guy keeps running on me, man. Keeps running on me. I told Tony he was gonna kick off at 10 o'clock. It's 10.51. I was about 45 minutes off. Come on, baby. Tony got something on the beach over there. Tony got a black drum on the beach, I think. A small, it looked like an eater size, which would be excellent. Black drum, the slot size, lower slot, is one of my favorite fish to eat out here, guys. Say what you will about them, but they are delicious. This guy does not want to come in, man. He's running again. <sighs> Big wave. Come on. Come on. Don't break this guy. Don't break him. Trying to work these waves. He's running again. This is a big fish. It's either a big fish or a big ray. He's not sucking on me though. Ugh. Come on, there we go. I gained a little on him. Another big wave. I'm gonna start walking back. Come on, come on, get him up here. I'm getting him closer, guys. Getting him closer. I still don't see him, which is scaring me. He keeps taking runs on me. He's running again. Look. Basically how, basically how moving <laughs> yeah. twice you find fish yep. back back. Yep. I, 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 long ride or as far as I cast them, other ones on short. And it was it was 45 minutes past 10 when it went off. You're gonna have to cast short. Come on. Those birds started diving around 10. Yep. I'll take it. Yep. Oh, what'd you get? Keeper black drum. Nice. What what you on the shrimp? Huh? On shrimp? Yeah, it was on a sand flea. Oh, okay. Yeah, one sand flea. <laughs> <laughs> one sand got him. This guy does not want to come in, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's using a little Zepco reel on a Zepco ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're always thinking if I lose this, yes. I have a 30 minute fight. Yes. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's that way. I'm trying. I don't see him either. I don't either. Which is scaring me. <laughs> Get this in. Stop, he's All right. I think I got him in a trough. I still don't see him. 
Man, I hope this ain't a ray. That was too many runs. He's right there. That's gotta be a ray. Yeah, he's right in front. There, there, right there in the wave. Just saw him surface. It just could. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Sweet Jesus, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! <sighs> guys, I can't even lift this thing up. Thunder weighs 50 pounds. This thing, I swear, guys, is pushing two of thunders. Oh my goodness. This is definitely the biggest, heaviest fish I've ever pulled in from the beach besides like a shark. <laughs> Great work for that fish. All right, we got her released. She's floating. <sighs> that thing is tired as I am. Oh. Oh, I got a cramp in my butt cheek. There it goes. All right, it kicked off. Dude, I got a cramp in my left butt cheek from carrying that thing. Oh my God, my God, guys. Three hours, three spots. We actually got in the truck and packed up and moved. Moved twice on the beach we're at currently. I told Tony, 10 o'clock is gonna kick off. It was 10.45, we saw birds diving, and then that ride went off. It's a single drop, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. I had a pink frisky float on there. A little translucent bead, piece of shrimp, and the smashed fish gum. On again, on again, same ride, Tony. Same ride. Uh, 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 pink float pink float out deep yeah buddy we're on now 10 o'clock baby <laughs> come on yeah come on come on I need some meat protein is expensive Alright. Come on. Try to fight him back. Go, baby, let's go. Out deep. That was deep? Yep. Who's up on this boat? Let's go, baby. Look at this fish. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A frisky fence float. This is Blaine's tide rig, and we have. A pump smash attack. That's all I was catching them on yesterday, too. Yep. I would say that bait works. Yep. That's awesome. Good catch, dude. No need for a measure, guys. That guy is keeper for sure. On that pump smash. Same float we got the drum on. Go ahead. Oh, come here. Dispatch this guy. Come here, buddy. Ow. Ow, stop poking me. My goodness. Oh, give him a quick death, preserve the meat. So that monster drum, then Tony was pulling in that keeper right at the same time, then that Pompano hit. 
The National Seashores, guys, these are meccas for surf fishing. I highly recommend if you're gonna fish the National Seashores to get the yearly pass. It gets you in all of them, not just one. I believe it's under a hundred bucks. And if you don't get it, you gotta pay, I think it's $20 every time you come. So if you're coming more than four or five times a year, it's well worth to get the yearly pass. You can even add someone else's name to it, like your wife or your husband. And you can have, I think it's five passengers in your vehicle and they all get in with your pass. These parks are just another beautiful touch about Florida, guys. All right, guys, back at the house. I have been sleeping for two hours. <laughs> like it's almost dark. That freaking black drum wore me out. I'm gonna take advantage of this little daylight I have left. I'm gonna go ahead and prep some shrimp for tomorrow with the OP bait soap by Fish Gum. And we're gonna get this pompano cleaned up for our meal tonight. So here's some fresh dead I bought this morning. They are nice, have never been frozen. So I'm gonna take advantage of these guys, get them prepped up. I'm not gonna shell them. I'm just gonna cut the heads and tail off, basically cut them in half, and then drop them in this solution. These smaller ones, I won't even cut in half. Just leave them just like that. I have been using all OP bait soak shrimp lately for a few reasons. It has some scent to it that Tony adds. Plus it toughens up these shrimp and they stay on your hook a lot longer. I was catching multiple fish on the same bait just the other day. For someone like me who's running guides, that is a huge advantage, guys. Overhead. The less bait I'm using during a guide, the more money I'm profiting. All right, I got all those prepped. And now, I'm just gonna drop it right in the bag, man. Tony makes it real easy for you when you buy this. Comes with a bag, has directions on the front. Really heavy duty. Ziploc too. Then we're gonna shake that up. Depending on when I'm gonna go out, like if I'm gonna go out tomorrow, I would just throw this right in the refrigerator. I wouldn't even freeze it. But if it's gonna be more than 24 hours, I would suggest freezing it and you are ready to go for your next trip. It's a great way to save yourself time in the mornings too, right? So that time in the morning is valuable, especially when you're trying to get out there for sunrise. Get your shrimp the day before, go ahead and prep it with some of that OP, and you're ready to ride. You can sleep in an extra 15 minutes. Right, let's get on our pompano here. I got the seven inch sword, my blade of choice. Go all the way down there to the head meat. It's so funny how all those fish, those three fish we caught today, and we were out there a while, guys. Remember, we moved spots three times with no bites. I mean, nothing. Nothing was even picking our bait off. And then all of a sudden, we get a lot of bird activity out there really deep. And then that big black drum hit, Tony's eater size hit, and then this pompano. The birds disappeared and so did the bite. I really believe there's a big bait school cruising through and it fired everything up. And as that bait school moved along, so did the fish. We are technically not in season here, guys. I mean, it's still way early. I would say we're still weeks out, but we are gonna start seeing these guys. And what these are, these are the residents. These are the resident pompano that are here year round. The water temp is rising. So as the water temp rises, these guys will start getting active. They'll start coming in closer to shore. And we'll start being able to pick off these guys who live here before 
the migration gets here. I bled this fish out right away too, so his meat should be nice and white. And it is. I've been trying to get better and better at that. Just really dispatching these guys as quick as I can because I really do see a difference in the meat. Even if I leave my catch, let's say like lying on the sand or even in the bucket for like five minutes, I see a difference in the meat quality. So I've been really trying to be mindful to as soon as I get them on the sand and I know that I'm gonna keep it to go ahead and bleed it out. And this was a good one. I didn't measure this just a second ago and it's right at 14 inches, 14 inches to the fork. In Florida, we measure fork length. In Alabama, we measure total length. Florida, you can keep six per licensed angler. Alabama, you can keep three. First thing we're gonna do guys for this one fish masterpiece is get some Colombian arepas going. Guys, the first round is coming off. And we are gonna prep our pompano really quick. I am first gonna hit them with a little Greek seasoning. I am almost out of this Greek seasoning. I use this for a lot of stuff, guys. French fries. Potatoes, fish, chicken. So this is a good all around seasoning. And then we're gonna get these guys in some fish fry batter. Not using any kind of wash, egg wash, anything like that. This is gonna be just a flash fry. I don't wanna cake them with a lot of flour and things like that. I really just want to get the crispiness and the seasoning. This is a Louisiana style fish fry. And those guys are ready. All right guys, that didn't take no time at all. I went ahead and salted and now lemon. Now we're gonna top the arepas with a rice and bean that Madi made earlier. We're gonna hit them with those first. Hitting them with those rice and beans first, guys. Right on top of these arepas. Now on top of that, I'm gonna do some mild salsa. So we're gonna add our pompano. Nice. Now for the final touch, we're gonna add our veggies, a little bit on each side. And that'll just kind of mix into the plate as you're forking it. So really with every fork bite, you're getting a little bit of everything. And there we go, guys. We are ready to eat. 